Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. With your wife, you want to have four kids and be like, well, these two are yours and these two are mine. You know, we, we look at it at, at the end of the day like that thing is what we want to be proud of, and we don't really care who wrote what. We just want that book to be like badass and people to like it. And so that's what we celebrate. And so we take that approach. We've taken that from the very beginning. We want to sell as many of those as we can, and we just want the end product to be what we're proud of. And it changes your whole mindset um, to this team approach. You know, we're just excited to get whatever other ideas the other guy has on the page. And it's not just art, but business. Like there's both the yeah. craft and the business side of it. Sure. You know, he, if he says, dude, if you change this one part, we'll sell four more books. That's like, so, okay, that's eight bucks. Yeah, do it. Four dollars for me. Let's do it. Yeah. Like, I mean, because it is a business. You know, this isn't, we're not changing the world with these books. It's Pulp Fiction. It's entertainment. If Brian feels strongly that someone's going to enjoy this chapter more, if I don't have that dude say that, oh, fine, he won't say it. I don't care. It's uh, extremely rare. You know yes, that, Yes, right? it is. Yeah, that's no, hard we, know, to find. we do know that. And in fact, we sit on panels at these writers' conferences with other co author teams. You know, oh, they'll yeah. have a co author panel, and everyone's sitting there, and they'll say, Oh, did you, so how do you guys do it? And we do it, and you look, and everyone's looking at you like you got, you know, yeah. something growing out of your head. Like, you're like, how you could I say can't, it. That can't possibly <laughs> work, right? Yeah, <laughs> forgot, I forgot where I was. Dick, <laughs> yeah, dream bros. Dick grown out of your head. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong so I was thinking about that other show we did. Yeah, no, this is the only um, show that exists. The church lady show. Though. But yeah, nobody yeah. else nobody else does it that way that we've met so far. They're like, Pride yeah. of authorship is very strong. People want to get their own bits into there. Yeah. You, you, I mean, yeah. It's not just in writing, though. You see it everywhere, like in public policy and all this other bullshit. Anything. Anything, oh, for sure. anything that has any creative element to it that your name's going to be on. People are like, well, I want my idea to be in there. Just shut the fuck up and let the best idea be in there. Well, yeah. this yeah. It, it makes us sound like we're selfless, and that's and that's not entirely <laughs> true. We also recognized early on, like, there are certain things I'm better at. There are yeah. certain things he's better at, and we're both mature enough and – dedicated enough to making money with the books that we're like look dude you do that part a little better if you say that's what it is mm. I, I disagree but shit that's your thing so go and and our things tend to complement each other there's certain areas i do better certain areas he do be- does better so knowing that and identifying it very early on in the first few months that makes it seamless and so it's not totally just selfless it's just you know self-awareness well i think the other part is though you know if you're used to military background you're w- used to working on a team like, mm. right you, know, you, you do set, this, I do that. Yeah. You yeah. do this, I do that. Yeah. I, see, I take the same approach, but a lot of people don't. I, going back to your point about, like, I want to, a lot of people just want to say that they did that one thing. Yeah, but, I know. But unless you're going to a movie or you're sitting reading <laughs> with someone aloud and saying, oh, did you like that sentence you just laughed at? That was <laughs> mine. Right. Yeah. Nobody's going to fucking know. Yeah, nobody yeah. cares. Nobody cares. And nobody, nobody cares. cares. Um, but telling people that, they don't understand for some reason. It's like it's climbing like, Mount Everest. Yeah. yeah. Nobody cares. And nobody cares. Well, it's like your show. Like, you guys have a dynamic that's awesome because three of you guys make the dynamic. Right. right. But, but it, it's, it's one of those things where there's, there's no better person for whatever it is. Right. Well, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, but I think he also just said individually you suck. That's not okay. Yeah. It's, you're, yeah. Awesome. yeah you're a guest here, Brian. That's not Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Pro- Dude, but leave it to Jeff to turn something that I tried to say as a positive into a negative. Yeah, well, we always Thanks. do that. Yeah. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks. We always do that with Anne Frank. So. I'm just saying, nothing's more annoying than someone who's climbed Mount Everest. Yeah, they just work that into every, every situation. It's every like a situation. vegan or like a it's staunch like, yeah, atheist. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're out. The what waiter are, comes. Why over. is this guy praying over like, here? Because like, he's like, religious. Oh, dude. you know where I shit. didn't get food waited on me at was when I climbed Mount Everest. <laughs> yeah, we know, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> for fuck's sake, we already we all fucking know. Can you imagine? We've heard the fucking end of it. Can you imagine a vegan like, atheist who climbed Mount Everest? Oh, but it would be. Oh it, God, it's dude. over. But it's like, but you think about that. It's like, oh my God, I almost died, and I. I went through years of training, and then you you come back and you're in the U.S. Like oh, I climbed Mount Everest. They're like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> All that. That's what you get. Wow, that sounds neat. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 There's no there's no follow on. No, nobody latte. even wa- nobody like even wants latte. to go. Ooh, how was it? They just no. go. All right. Because you have Jeff, no, we're over it. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, we've you heard about it. You fucking climb Mount Everest. Just <laughs> shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> Maybe if there was a pot of gold up there or something, eh. or even just a leprechaun, right. and you could see it and take a selfie with it, that would be better. Because if, if you show me the selfie, if you show me the selfie, if you show me the selfie with you and the leprechaun at the top of Mount Everest, I will care. Otherwise, eh. I'm not going to just for a minute, right? Yeah, it's just foolish. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I, skydive onto Mount Everest. Well, when, fuck it. Whenever I see those like, people, and I'll, I'll take it a step further. Yeah. When I see people who died up there, 
They were like, oh man, they died hiking Mount Everest. Why, Dumb. motherfucker? You Dumb. shouldn't have. You shouldn't have hiked it. Ro- I know. Rogan, shouldn't hiked it. Rogan does a great bit on that. He's like, people sometimes you just do stuff that's hard just to do it. Like there's no, yeah. there's no point. Like we've been up there. There's nothing there. That's why no. we all live down here. Yeah. Like yeah. there's nothing up there. No. I watched nothing. a 60 minute special where this guy had half of his nose frozen off. off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fingers missing. His whole thing. And he was with his uh, 16 or 17 year old son. And I have kids. I have two boys. Um, and the, they were like, oh, you know, why do you do this? And he's like, I love it. You know, I needed to feel alive. And then they cut to the son. They were like, how do you feel about your dad doing this? And he's like, well, you know, he loves it. And uh, <laughs> it's great. And I'm like, that's your son. And you're going to just go up and burn your nose off and, you know, distort your fingers and Dumb. face. And to, it, to do what? To do what? Yeah, Come back could. and tell a waitress that you climb Mount Everest and she's 22. And yeah. she goes, she has fucking three kids already. She's already <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> fucking water bill isn't paid. She's going to go, cool. That's yeah. Good. Wow. You know Great. Could, do you want a fucking salad? Yeah. You know what he could have done instead is lived <laughs> hard. Really detailed. He could have. If he, there's a lot of detail in that. Dude. <laughs> if he didn't mind his nose being fucked up, he could have lived Artie Lang's life and oh, had a yeah. much better time. Exactly. <laughs> Why couldn't you smell the ranch? Because uh, it's expensive. It's I not my, cheap. My nose burned off. Wasting a lot of fucking money. <laughs> yeah. Dumb for that yeah. one fucking shot at the fucking Waffle House waitress. Oh <laughs> boy. It's gonna be. It like, was a plan, is what, what you're saying. What? Yep. The You're okay. moving all in. Do you yeah. think there's got to be Waffle one guy out there who fucking climbed Everest with the expectation that he would get laid because of it, right? I'm sure they, least all, one they guy. all have yeah. that expectation. Yes. But that's what I mean. The reality is, like, you're dancing in a club. I climbed Mount <laughs> Everest. Yeah. Sweet. Like, like how, <laughs> You have to find a way to work that organically into conversations or become famous because I mean, of I it. I imagine so people it's will, also will like, recognize the fame. I imagine all the people that have climbed Mount Everest are very pompous about around other climbers and they have to they probably have some sort of badge or something mm-hmm. that they wear when they're around other climbers so the mm-hmm. other climbers know. Oh, how long did it take? Yeah, oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I had AIDS when I, I did, did it. I did Everest in 8 days. Yeah, like, yeah they get it sewn into their skin. Yeah, they yeah. they really work it in, you know, and then they're they they talk down upon other climbers that haven't done Everest. By the I'm way, sure that's a Real quick, have you guys climbed Everest? No. Okay, good, good. If, if we, so, right. we <laughs> shit but I, but I did, yeah. I, sure did so work, I wouldn't say it now. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> I did work as a Sherpa, so I was helping those other people climb. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You know, yeah. The, I helped could a lot you, of idiots yeah. climb. Could you imagine <laughs> I knew that one tidbit that they like both did? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> well, we should bring a guest on sometimes. That has climbed everything. Not even that, just done anything. And we attacked that one thing the time. And they say, so tell us about yourself. What have you done? Yeah, hey, so what are you known for? <laughs> oh shit! And then we have to decide if we're going to bring it up or not, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Do we lie and say we didn't climb? But I was, I was, I was in uh, Puerto Rico, and I, I was having this exact conversation while drunk with a bunch of people, and I was like, "Watch!" The waitress comes over. I'm like, "Hey, I climb Mount Everest," and she goes, "Uh, see." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Jared, she didn't speak English. Yeah, Whatever. Exactly. I still got the outcome I want. Is what happened there. You got so. the way of those rancheros? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 